essentially caps the amount of people who are seeking asylum from entering the U.S. So basically, people are forced to wait in Mexico, where MPP, or Remain in Mexico, is again sending people back to Mexico once they have stated a credible fear with an asylum officer. And so both of these policies are forcing people to wait in a country that they don't know for an uncertain amount of time in unsafe situations. And this is leaving many people homeless and in a place of vulnerability where they are taken advantage of by the organized crime groups. Initially, the border closure was enacted to protect public health and slow the spread of COVID-19. However, it is now targeting certain classes of non-citizens, which in this case is asylum seekers. People's court cases continue to be postponed, and there is no set date or criteria as to when the border will open. So people are left in really hopeless situations with little to no resources um, to, to change their situation. Instead of continuing with the border closure, a better response would be to focus our attention and resources to better equip the people who are working with asylum seekers. These facilities in the past have cared for people with contagious medical conditions and with the support and um, implementation of certain health protocols, we can continue to safely welcome those who are waiting to enter the U.S. to seek asylum. If asylum seekers were able to enter the United States, many of them would have family members or sponsors who could offer them housing, as opposed to sending more people to detention centers where PPE is lacking and social distancing is almost impossible. Churches are serving as quarantine locations for asylum seekers who are leaving detention centers. Um, there are churches who have started immigration bond funds. There are churches who are actually sponsoring asylum seekers so that they can leave detention centers. Um, and this is a really sustainable way because there are so many different hands that can offer assistance throughout the process. <laughs> 